Hello everyone and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. In today's episode, we're working in Luminar 4, the mystical filter, and I'm going to add an additional bonus filter, and that's the glow filter, because it works really well with this image here. We're going to create this image right here. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can download this image. It's a stock image, just in case you want to follow along with me. This is a really cool technique we're going to do today. We're going to be working with some layer masking, some advanced layer maskings, and I think you're going to learn a lot. So without any further ado, let's get this thing going. Today I want to show you one of my favorite filters in uh, Luminar 4, and that is the Mystical Filter. And you're going to find it right here in the Creative section. And it's going to be right here under the matte look, Mystical. So I'm going to click on that. And what I'm going to do is pull this amount slider to the right. And notice how it adds a nice dreamy look to your image. So basically it's softening up the image, giving it a bit of a glow and giving it a bit of a contrast bump. Now, if the contrast is too strong and your shadows are getting all blocked up, you can take the shadow slider and move it to the right and you can open up those shadows. So you have a lot of adjustment here. So let's open up the shadows. Now we can come to advanced settings and then we can have a smoothness slider. So if we move the smoothness to the right, we can add a little bit more smooth, dreamy look to the image if we would like it. We can come to saturation. We can cut the saturation back or we can move it to the right and add a little more saturation. I think I just want just a little bit more saturation. And then we have a warmth slider, so we can either warm it up by moving it to the right or cool it down to the left. I think I just want to warm this up a little bit, and I think it's looking really beautiful right there. Now I want to introduce an advanced masking technique to you. So let's come here to Edit Mask and come down here to Luminosity. Give that a click. That's going to build a Luminosity Lights Mask which is only going to add this effect to the light portions of the image, which is really nice on these type of filters like the Orton filter or this mystical filter where you just want it to target the highlights. Or you could make it target the shadows and I'll show you how to do that too. But right now it's targeting the highlights. And you notice that it's not quite as strong anymore. So let's take the amount, move it up a little bit. But this just kind of safeguards you if you, you know, sometimes we take our filters and we move them too far. But let's see the difference here. Let's click this toggle. Here's the before and here's the after. So you can see it's adding that nice streamy look, but it's not quite as strong and pronounced. But I like it. Sometimes it's better to err on the side of a little bit less than too much. And a luminosity mask is great for doing that. Now, if I wanted it in the shadows instead of the highlights, we can right click this mask right here and you can see the mask it built. There's a luminosity mask. If I right click it and click on invert, now it's adding it to the shadows and not the highlights. So you have that flexibility there. Let me right click again and put it back on the uh, highlights. Now there's still more we can do here with our uh, mask. And that is, what if we did want a little bit of glow in our shadows? So let's go to Edit Mask. Now, this is very important. When you click on Edit Mask, make sure you pick the brush tool here. So click on the brush tool. And when you do, this menu shows up. See it right here where it says Mask? It's a drop-down menu. Click that. And you're going to find this little slider hidden in here. And it's kind of hidden. And a lot of people don't know about it, but it's right inside here in its density. And it controls the density of this mask here. So... If I take this slider and move it to the left, it's going to start to uh, induce some of that uh, glow into the shadows. Can you see that going in there? And if you look at this mask, it's getting lighter here, right? Because I'm pulling the density back. Now, if I take it the whole way to the left, it just becomes a solid white mask. And now I have all that mystical effect on there. But now watch, I can take this density slider and move it to the right and just add just the right amount of glow on those shadows. So... That gives you even more flexibility. So here we have a luminosity mask, mask, just adding the effects to the highlights. But then we want to add a little bit to the shadows. We come into the layer mask and come to the density slider and pull it to the left and adjust some of that uh, mystical look into the shadows. So that's pretty nice. And when you're done with that and you're happy, just come up and click done here. And that's that sets it in there. Now, we still can come back to all these sliders and make readjustments here. So I felt I have too much adjustment here, too much mystical look. I can pull the amount back a little bit. Now let's click on the uh, split screen here and take a look at the before and after. So there's the before and there's the after. You know, it's not overdone and it's beautiful and I'm really happy with that result. But let's take it a step further. 
What if we could add a nice ethereal glow right over the top of this mountain peak right here? Because it looks like maybe the sun is setting over here. That might look really nice. So let's come to the glow filter here, or the glow tool. In here you have three different types. You have um, soft focus bright, soft focus, and soft glow. I'm going to choose soft glow. This is just an added bonus in this uh, mystical tool tutorial. So let's take the glow and move it to the right. And you can see the nice glow that's coming in here. I don't like it on overall over the whole image here, but I just want to have it like right in here. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So we can come and adjust the brightness of it and so on. I'm just going to leave it right at zero. And we have advanced settings. We can adjust the smoothness, smooth it out a little bit or warm it up. And I think I want to warm it up a little bit. Add a little bit of warmth to the top of that little mountain right there, that peak. And now what I want to do is click on Edit Mask. And this time, get a radial mask. It says click and click and drag to draw. So if I click and drag and make a little radial mask, and then, and then you could take this and move it around wherever you want. You can adjust the size here by pulling out and, and change its shape and different things here. But I think a, a size right about there looks pretty good, and I'm going to set it right there. But you'll notice right now it's doing the opposite of what I want. It's, it's blocking the glow from the mountain. I want it to go on the mountain. So all I need to do is right-click right here and say Invert. Okay, and now it's inverted. So now it's only adding the glow right here. So look, I can move it around. See what I mean? And just put it right over the peak of that mountain. Then I can come back here and adjust the amount and put the right amount of glow right in there just to give it that little bit of a little dreamy light coming up over there. And that is basically it. So I think that is a really cool feature. Now let me just come back to the amount maybe and just maybe just pull it back ever so much. And then we can readjust all these other sliders here. So that's the mystical filter in, and then adding the glow filter on top to the mountain peak right here. And I think that makes for a nice image. So let's take a look at the overall before image and the after. What do you think? I think it's a nice addition. Let me know what you think of these two filters. I'd really appreciate it. Leave, leave your comments and questions in the comment section below. And uh, let's talk about this. Let me know what you like or dislike about it. Well, there we go. That was the mystical filter with the added bonus of the glow filter. I hope you enjoyed it today. If you like this video, please like and share it with your friends. I would really appreciate that. And also, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so and click the bell notification icon. This way, every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. And also, please leave comments and questions below. I really want to hear from you. Well, I want to thank each and every one of you today for joining me today on the joy of editing of David Kelly today. And I'll see each and every one of you right here next time. But until then, happy editing.